All right, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the uh, iFlight Alpha A75 ready to fly kit. Comes with everything you see here, except for the 3S um, iFlight branded 450 milliamp hour batteries. You can get a couple of those. I actually received all these components separately. Uh, it's now, they've actually got this in a bundle. They wanted to get this to me a little bit earlier before Chinese New Year, so I could actually review it and get the video at one the ready to fly kit is actually going to be out which is i think either on pre-order right now or should be up by the time to see by the time you see this video so as i said you get everything you you get everything you see here you get your goggles your controller you get the drone of course you get two batteries and you get a battery charger now uh, i would just say this is the most expensive ready to fly starter kit out of all the ones from the other companies like frc uh beta fpv etc uh, but this one here is going to be a little bit like it's going to last you a bit longer. It's going to, you're going to be able to grow into this a little bit easier and 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 hold on to this a little bit longer than some of the other kits out there. You're going to probably outgrow a lot sooner. Um, this by far has the best controller. I've already done a video on the controller. I'll link that down in the video description if you want more details on the controller itself. So I'm not going to cover that in this video. But it's a very good controller by far, in my opinion, the best bundled controller for any of the rate of flight kits that are currently available. The goggles here are nothing too special. Um, they're basically clone of a clone of a clone. This, this goggle has been around a long time, uh, at least three years, if, if I'm not mistaken. I, I forget who made this originally. Now, it might be that the shell here, the, the way the box goggle shape is, the shell is being reused by all these companies, and maybe the internal components are different. I don't have every single one of these. I didn't compare them. And for the purposes of uh, a beginner goggle, you know, you, I'm not going to be doing a tarot or anything like that. And I don't think that any of the regular viewers of the channel are going to be um, looking at a tear down of, you know, a bundled, you know, pos this is probably like a $50 goggle. Uh, basically, it's, it's 5.8 gigahertz. It's analog. This is the same, basically the same goggle as the one uh, that Beta FPV makes. It's the VR01. It has a built-in DVR. Uh, diversity antennas of course these have much better antennas of course the circular polarized antennas so the the, I got the rubber ducky antennas so that's an improvement but otherwise it's basically the same goggle the same screen um so if you have a problem with the other goggles in terms of your face shape then you're gonna have a problem with this one as well um but you know obviously this is targeting someone who doesn't have anything so if you already have equipment of course you're probably not interested in this video but if you're you know thinking about getting into fpv this goggle here, it should be suitable for most people, assuming that it fits the shape of your face. Now that's the thing about goggles, hard to say if it's going to work for you or not. But I do that. I do know that this works for a lot of people out there. If you have, you know, um, eyes that have a pretty difficult prescription, maybe a lot of astigmatism, um, farsightedness, that kind of stuff, then you're going to have issues with pretty much any goggle out there. So you may want to maybe look and get your own parts separately, which you can actually buy all these things separately as well and get a different goggle uh, that might suit your needs a little better. Just come with this little charger here. This I think I reviewed as well a while back. Pretty simple. You just plug your battery in here and then lead the uh, balance lead in here and you set your settings here. I actually did a video on this one as well. I'll link that down in the description as well. And then this is the drone itself. It's 75 millimeter whoop. It's um, analog. I think they can, they have a DJI version of this as well, but of course you have to buy the goggles and the controller for that separately. I don't have that version. And of course all the specs and stuff are gonna be different. So for those of you uh, regular viewers of my channel that are into all the specs and details and that kind of stuff, uh, check the link down in the description if you wanna see the specs on this whoop. It's a pretty generic whoop. In 11 of three motors, 8,000 KV, runs on a 3S450. In this case, I, I tested it on a, on a 3S450 tattoo. The iFlight version of the battery is pretty similar. Now, if you're getting this as a beginner, um, I re would recommend don't start on the 3S battery. Uh, that's uh, gonna be a little bit too fast for you. Uh, and you're gonna wanna fly it in a, a larger space, not indoors. Now, if you do happen to have a larger indoor space and you want to fly this indoors because it's maybe it's cold outside, you know, winter's still in your location, you can do that. I uh, would recommend going down to a 2S battery. I'll link some 2S batteries down in the video description. Um, like a 2S 550 would be fine, something like that. It'll give pretty give you decent flight times and it'll, it'll be slower and more controllable. And I would also recommend 
adjusting your camera angle down to like a lower angle like this. If you angle it up like that, then you're gonna, it's going to force you to fly more forward like this and it's going to go a lot faster. So if you're just starting out, just lower your camera angle down to something a little bit, you know, so you're not flying too fast and then reduce your battery down to a 2S battery just to start out. That's a recommendation I'm going to make to iFly is to actually include 2S batteries as well as 3S batteries. But, you know, 2S batteries aren't that expensive. You can probably pick up two packs of those for like 12, 13 bucks on Amazon. So again, I'll link some down in the description. Recommend starting on that first. Obviously, I always recommend starting on a simulator first. So do that first and then go to 2S and then move up to 3S once you've built up your skills. Regarding the controller, it, it does work on simulators. So when you do buy this and you don't want to fly and crash your drone away right away, which most people usually do when they get one of these kits, is buy a simulator. They're like 15 bucks, 20 bucks. Um, you, you know, you just plug that into your uh, USB type C port in the, in the top here into your computer. Learn how to fly with this controller it will work great. This, these are great gimbals. Uh, you know, no problems learning on this controller here. It's a very good controller and that'll get you started. And then once you've gotten, gotten comfortable, learn how to fly a little bit. And I say move up to this on 2S and then later on move up to this on 3S and you'll be good to go. And then you can actually use this controller for future quads as well because it does run D16 and D8 mode. So this one's going to grow with you a little bit better. Maybe not so much the goggles. I mean, the goggles, I know a lot of people still use box goggles, you know, well into their third or fourth quad. But you know, maybe at some point you probably want to upgrade this to something a little better. But this controller you can definitely use down the road if you want. And uh, yeah, this overall, this is, you know, it's the most expensive kit at $299, um, but it's the most refined kit in terms of all the components, you know, things that are going to last you a little bit longer down the road if you want to, you know, keep flying, and especially this controller being much better than all the other ones that are bundled with the ones from the other companies. Okay, so here's the uh, footage. I'm going to see the flight footage I usually put at the end of the video. This is what I think of this. It's a pretty good buy overall. It's my recommendation. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. All right, another windy day. All right, these, uh, these rates in here are pretty high. These are the default rates. And with this pit tune, with the wind, you can hear, you can hear the uh, props kind of fluttering, oscillating. It means the uh, pit tune is right at the edge. Whoops, crash. All right, I'm gonna try and not fly too aggressively. This, uh, the wind's pretty bad. Also, trying to get used to this remote, the gimbals, I feel like the ones in the T-Lite and the T-12, not surprising, not bad. Uh, the uh, stock rates on this are super high. I don't think this would be, I think it's not really set up for a beginner. I think if you want to do a beginner setup, you're going to have to go to 2S and probably reduce all the rates, but I don't think the beginners will know how to do that. This is more of an intermediate setup. Yeah, you know, these rates are really high. It's a little hard to control. Flying nice, other than the fact I can hear the oscillation. That's just from the wind. There's a bug on my head bothering me.
probably uh, definitely do whoop races with this one, but it's not really set up for a beginner. You're gonna have to change the setup to uh, a beginner setup, and then and then move on to this. Maybe this is sort of a second a secondary setup for someone who kind of already knows how to fly a little bit. But it flies nice. I mean, it is right. I think the motors are probably going to be a little bit warm because of the wind. It's flying right on the edge, and I think the battery is just about done here. A little bit, three and a half minutes. That's super windy. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little more here. Try and push it to four minutes. This is a 3S450 tattoo battery, by the way. All right, now I'm at 10.3 volts, so almost, almost four minutes of flight. 